Hello everyone, welcome back to the Azure Cloud series and this is chapter number 6. So in previous chapter we explored Azure Virtual Machines, we learn about virtualization, understood how virtual machines work behind the scenes, created a virtual machine, deployed an app on it and accessed it over the internet. So now it's time to move on to another powerful computing service that is Azure App Service. This is fully managed platform that allows you to quickly build, deploy and scale web apps and APIs without worrying about underlying the infrastructure. So in this chapter we will break things down like first we will understand what Azure App Service is with some real-time examples then we will go behind the scenes to understand what happens in the background when we use App Service from DNS mapping to the folder structure and after that we will explore the supported languages on app service then we will talk about the CI CD integrations including the tools and we will quickly discuss the difference between app service and app service plan which is often confuse the beginners and finally we will get a hands-on with a real demo where we will deploy a small react app on Azure app service and access it over the internet. So grab a cup of coffee, open up your Azure portal and let's dive into the next exciting compute service that is Azure App Service. So let's get started. So let's first understand what is Azure App Service is. So basically Azure App Service is a platform as a service offering from Microsoft Azure. It allows you to host your web apps, RESTful APIs and mobile backends without the need to manage any infrastructure. So you can deploy your application code directly on the service and Azure takes care of underlaying the hardware, networking, patching, scaling and load balancing all for you. App Service supports multiple programming languages and frameworks like Node.js, Python, PHP, Java and even static contents. So whether you are building a full stack app just deploying a front end, Azure App Service can handle it. So now let's talk about what happens in the background when we use Azure App Service. So imagine a user accessing your app that is deployed on Azure App Service. So behind the scenes, your code gets deployed into a directory structure inside the App Service instance. Typically, it gets stored like home site under the www root folder. This is where your static files or build folder, for example, your index.html, JavaScript, and CSS file are Hosted. These files are then served to the end user via the app service public DNS endpoint. All this is tied and managed through something called app service plan, which is defined the underlying resources such as the pricing tier, compute power, scaling rules, and regions. So now let's understand what languages and framework does Azure App Service supports. That is Node.js, Java, Python. PHP, Docker, and static HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, or any front-end framework, React, Angular, or Vue. And Azure app also support powerful CI-CD integrations out of the box. You can automatically deploy your apps using GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, FTP, or even manual zip deployment. This makes continuous delivery and version control very easy to integrate in your deployment workflow. And now let's understand one common point of confusion for beginners is the difference between app service and app service plan. So here is a simple example to make it clear. Think of the app service plan as the land and the app service as the house built on that land. App service plan provides the infrastructure like CPU, memory or scaling configuration while the app service is your application deployed on that infrastructure. So I hope this overview give you a clear picture of what Azure App Service is and how it works behind the scenes. So now it's time to get our hands dirty and move to the most exciting part, the live demonstration. So let's go to the Azure portal and I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step to create and deploy a small React app using 
Azure App Service. So let's get started. So once you log in to your Azure portal, you will be navigating to this dashboard. This is the landing page or dashboard of the Azure portal. So as I already covered how to find the services or how to do the global search in my previous video. So if you have not checked my previous video, so I recommend you to go and check in the virtual machine creations in that I have explained how to do the global search to find a particular service. So now let's quickly go and create our app service. So before that, as I mentioned, to create any service in Azure, you have to create resource group first. So let's create resource group. So let, once you click on the resource group, you will be navigating to this resource group creation page. And here you can either click on this button or just click on this create option. And in that, let's create a resource group first. So subscription, as I mentioned, I'm using this pay as you go. So it is auto populated. Now let's give the name that is TA app demo and then the region that is we'll use south india but if in, in your case you can you want to change then you can change the regions as per the requirement and then and then just click on review plus create and then here or you can review the subscription and the resource group that we enter that is ta app demo and the region and let's click on create so it is the resource group it's created now let's close this and go to the home again and then now and now let's uh, so as i mentioned in the previously uh, we have to create the first azure service plan and then we have to create app service so let's be, uh, create first azure service plan so here is the option to create app service plan and let's click on the create and in that let's once you click on the create you will be navigating to the to this create app service plan and here on the right hand side uh, you will get the estimated monthly cost details and then here you can click uh, so on the basic tabs there are three tabs so in the basic tab the subscription that is auto populated now let's select the resource group that we have just created that is ta app demo and then let's give the name that is ta react app and then operating system is linux then the region that will use central india and then the, on the pricing plan so first let's explore so we are doing this for demo purpose so we'll mostly use the free tire but you can choose as per your need so in that we'll use this free pricing so let's select this so it will be and then memory is 1 GB, remote storage and all those things. So now let's click on the select. So the plan is selected as free, that is shared infrastructure. And then on the zone redundancy type, we don't need to change anything for now. And then click on review plus create. It is, it is validating the details that we entered. So if you see the validation is in progress. And once that is done, then you can create the app service plan so now the validation is done and you can see the details the subscription resource group and the apps service name so now let's click on create so it is starting the deployment or creating the app service plan so deployment is in progress and if you see the app service plan is created so now let's so on the overview you will see this TA React app app service plan is created. So once you click, you will get the details of it. So if you see the resource group, then the status is ready, Central India and as you pay. And what are the plan that we selected? That is pricing plan, that is F1, that is free one. And then all the details. So now let's again go back to the dashboard and let's start creating the our first app service. So on this app service. It will be navigating to this app service creation page so now let's click on create button it will ask four options that is web app static web app web app plus database and wordpress on app service we want to create as web app so let's click on web app and it will be navigating to this web app creation page and you will see the couple of tabs where we need to fill the data so as so let's fill the basic details so as I mentioned that a subscription is already populated. So now let's select the resource group that is we have already created that is T app demo. And then let's give the 
name so we'll give you the name that is ta react demo app so it will be validating the name that we entered and once it is validated then you will see the green tick appear on the right corner of this input then now let's publish we will be publishing the code so we'll use the radio as code then now in runtime stack we'll use node 20 latest then the operating system so we'll mostly use on windows operating system and then the region we will use that it's central india and accordingly our apps or windows service plan is mapped so you will see this ta app demo is automatically mapped and the pricing that we will use that is the free one share so now all the details that we entered so we need to fill other details as we are creating this web app so let's click on the review plus create button it will validating the details that we entered and once that is done then we'll, we'll then we'll start creating our web app so the validation is done and you will see all the details that we entered is present here so now let's click on the create it will start the deployment now it is submitting the deployment and you will get the current status deployment is in progress and once that is done then we will be navigating to the overview page of this created web app so now deployment is completed so now let's click on this go to resource and it will be navigating to the overview page here you will get all the details of our web app that is resource group that is status location subscription and this is the default domain of our app so once you click you will be or your react app will be open on this url so currently we have not pushed any code so now let's go again and search advanced tool options so let's click on this advanced tools and now click on the go it will be navigating to the new browser and in that you will get this kudo plus so in that we'll to upload the build folder we'll use this debug console option and in that you will get two options that is cmd or powershell so currently we'll do this for cmd let's click on cmd so once you, you inside the folder then we have to again go to inside site and in that there is one folder that is www root folder so let's go inside the www root once we inside this root folder then there is one hostinger.html file it is currently available so i will delete this it will ask for the prompt let's okay and then we'll copy our code so this is the build folder so let's copy those and all the files are getting copied and dropped inside their root folder so now let's close this window and then go again back to the overview and then let's click on the default domain so it will open our published or deployed react app so let's click on this and you will see welcome to technorum or our react app is available over the internet so that's all about the azure app service so in this chapter we explore how you can easily deploy and host your applications using azure app service without worrying about the infrastructure a quick recap what we covered in this video so far so we started by understanding what is azure app service and how it fits into the platform as a service model then we looked what happens at the background from file structure to the deployment flow then next we discuss the supported language and framework frameworks including node python java and php and then we finally explored the ci cd integration options like github azure devops or bitbucket then we clear up the confusion between app service versus app service plan using a simple example and finally we wrapped up with a live demo where we created an app service plan deploy our very first react application to azure so if you found this video very helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe to support the channel and as i always say keep learning happy coding and i'll see you in the next chapter until then have a great 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 day